and we go. Okay, this is uh, Unit 14, Lesson 2. Today, uh, yesterday, what were the two shortcuts we talked about? One of them was side, side, side. The other one was? Side angle, side. Today, we're going to introduce two new ones. Anyone want to guess? Angle, angle, side, and? Angle, side, angle. Good, cool. Uh, you probably looked at the next slide for that, so congratulations. Um, no swearing. No car insurance. What does that even mean? Why am I saying that? That means it's not a shortcut for congruence. So if you know two triangles have three pair of congruent angles, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example. Have I ever told you the story about mama and baby equa? Okay, here they come. Baby equa was born. Baby equa has 360 degree angles. Yeah? Mama Equa, also 360 degree angles. But Baby Equa hasn't grown up to be the same size as Mama Equa yet. <laughs> Aw. So angle, angle, angle cannot be trusted. See? You with me? Okay. We went over side, side, angle yesterday in our notes, so we'll just keep going. Okay, so here are four. Side, 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 angle, side from yesterday, and then our new two, okay? And then our no-goes, our which ones don't work, no swearing, no car insurance. Swearing, car insurance. Let's keep going. This is math. I think you're learning. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just review. On each page, I'm going to do this. Uh, and I'm going to call on a different person, okay? Jackson, can you remember any of the shortcuts I just said? You were just here last slide. Okay, that's okay. Ahmed, can you tell me any of the four? No. Can anybody tell me anything about math? Yes. Side, side, side. What else? Side, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Oh, no. Shoot. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we're going to do that every slide. Someone's going to do it. Okay, so as I look at this diagram... We're going to determine whether or not we have enough information to say yes, congruent. And if we don't have enough information, we're going to say cannot be determined, CBD. Get used to that. You guys are used to acronyms like LOL and IHGH, right? And haha. -ha. <laughs> I have great hair. That's IHGH. Okay? So, uh, here I have an angle congruent to an angle, and then a side congruent to a side. Do I know that these two are angles are congruent? Yeah. What are they called? Vertical angles or ventricle. No, they're called vertical. That should be an R. Okay, so by side, or excuse me, angle, side, angle, we have congruence. Angle, side, angle. Okay, we're going to manipulate each of these problems. Okay, I'd like you to try the next one with a partner. Okay, so we, we've got a correct response here. This would be angle, angle, side. How do I know that that side is congruent to itself? What? What property is that? The reflexive property reflexive property. So I know, yes, these are congruent by angle, angle, side. Yes, Cole. Or if I were to sketch this out, here's ADC, right? ADC. I got markings like this. And then I do the other triangle. ABC. I got markings like this. Well, AC is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Therefore, we know we have angle, angle, side. Okay. Uh, let's see what the next one has in store for us. Ooh, funky. Let's talk about this one together. It's going to be similar to what we just did, right? Do you see a reflexive property with a side? Okay. So I got side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle. Very similar. However... When I sketch these two triangles out, looks like uh, I know this. I know these two sides are congruent by the reflexive property. 
So we're going to go with the side angle side on this one. So yes, by side angle side. Okay, if you ever see any overlapping objects or somehow they share a side or an angle, you want to pull them apart and then utilize what you know about the reflexive property. Okay, ooh, this is classic reflexive property. Is it going to be a reflexive angle or side? Nope. Side, what side? A, B, right? I pull it apart. Are you with me? AB is congruent to AB. Do I have enough info? Yes, I do. Which of the four will it be? Ooh, snipe, snipe. Watch out, Mark Wahlberg's here. Angle, angle, side. The A and the B are backwards. No. Watch. Ready? Okay, I'd, I'd say one of the hardest things for students to understand is the difference between these two. In this one, the side has to be between the two angles. It's not. It has to be directly between the two angles. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Oh, fun. Do you see a reflexive property? Yes, angle or a side? I see a side. I see side AT. All right. But right now, all I have is two sides. I have no angles, but these parallel lines, they help me, don't they? Well, I don't have enough information to say this. I can't say that right now. I don't have enough info. All right, so what can I say? Using parallel lines, do you guys remember something that rhymes with schmalternit, schmanteri, or schmangles? Oh, okay. So alternate interior angles would mean that this angle and this angle are congruent. Yeah? So would these two triangles be congruent? Yes. Let's, let's see if I can drag them apart. Oh, no. It's not going to work. Oh, no. It's not going to work. Okay. It would be by what? Somebody hollered out. Side. Angle. Side. Good. Let's see if I can guess it right. I think it's this one. Nope. Is this one? Yep. But side angle side, we have enough. We got enough info, people. All right, let's keep going. Oh, this is a good one. Parallel lines. We just talked about this. Parallel lines form what kind of angles for us? Schmalternet. Alternate interior. So this angle and this angle will be congruent. Also, that angle and that angle. Do I know anything about my side lengths? I, I, I'm like tempted to. I'm tempted to be like, yes, they're congruent. No, we don't know anything about our side lengths. But we do know this third angle. Sweet. I know by car insurance that this is not enough information. Right? Mama equal, baby equal. You with me? Okay, not enough info. Peter, question? No, I'm just stretching. Okay, stretching. It's good for you. Make sure and hydrate too. Oh. Is there overlapping going on? Yes. Is there a shared side length? Looks like a fox. What the heck kind of foxes do you look at? That looks more like a deer skull to me. Yeah. Okay. Is there a shared side or a shared angle on this? Shared angle. How about this angle right here? Yeah. So if I pull these apart, hopefully they work. I think I did due diligence at Chow. All right. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Let me drag these with, and then I'll. Do, 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 do. I gotta pull this with, and I gotta pull this with. And I'm gonna group it and duplicate it for you guys. Okay. All right. So so what we've done is we've recreated that other triangle, right? That. EDA. I'm going to pull this off to the side for just a moment, if it'll stay there. Stay there. Do I have enough info to say they're congruent? Yes. Holler it out. What would it be? Angle, side, angle. Oops, I don't know. Done. 
Okay, take uh, a couple minutes, work with the neighbors, see what you can do on this. How many people got CBD? Yeah, good work. Okay, so if C is the midpoint of BD, if C is the midpoint of this, this side, then that means these two sides are the same. Okay, so we've got one side in each of the triangles. Now we have a reflexive property going on with AC. The temptation is some student is going to do this. They're just going to say, that looks like a 90. Anytime you say to yourself, that looks like to me, don't trust yourself. Okay, You have to have valid information in order to do that. Okay, so we can't say that. And so at this point, all that we have is side side. It's all we have. We don't have the angle between. We don't have this third side. You're going to say, I'll use Pythagorean theorem. But guess what Pythagorean theorem requires? A right angle, which you don't know if you have or not. Right? You can't trust it. So in this case, we don't have enough information. So it would be CBD cannot be determined because we don't have enough info. All right, let's keep moving. I think we got a couple of slides left. Um, here's a really interesting one. AB is perpendicular to BD. What does that mean? So AB and BD do what? They form what? A right angle. Okay, that's a right angle. CD is perpendicular to BD as well. Okay, so I know I have at least one pair of congruent angles. I know that BC is parallel to AD, okay, so that tells me this, which tells me something else. What does it give me? What do parallel lines give me? No, remember, something with angles, yeah. Alternate interior, good. Anytime you see parallel lines, you're going to have some kind of alternate interior angle. And then, of course, John, what did you say? Reflexive property, that shared side right there. These two would be congruent. You agree? By, oh gosh, angle side angle. There we go. I can't remember which one was which. How do we feel? You got four options. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle. Here they are for you. You can practice those at home. Someone last year decided to put somehow a C in there. We're only talking angles and sides here, you guys. So your letters to choose from are an A or an S at all times. We're going to get to CPCTC, so maybe that's where they can. You're like, what? What is CPCTC? Don't worry. It's coming. Last uh, lesson in this unit after spring break, after you get a few days off where you can go tan in Iowa in the cornfields while you do some actual work. Yeah, go to Iowa. Who's going to Iowa? Somebody going to Iowa? How are you? Are you <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, let's just review. Which ones work? Which ones don't? Let's holler them out. Which ones work? Side angle side. Three sides. Angle side angle. Angle angle side. Which ones don't work? No car insurance. No swearing backwards. So don't turn around and swear at your neighbor. Because it won't work. It'll just cause problems. Yes, sir. Cole has a good point here. This would be okay as well. All right, but there's no way, because those are symmetrical, to really scramble them up. All right, so this is the only one that has multiple orders just due to its lack of symmetry. Okay, these never work. Don't ever get car insurance and the other thing too. Okay? Don't quote me on the car insurance thing because Marco will give his Geico commercial again. Like, subscribe, comment below this lesson too. Have a great day.